everyone. Today for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb, we are going to be working on birds for bird week. We're going to be working on two different birds, and so we're going to start with the one on the right, the pink and blue one. For this project, you're going to need different sheets of paper of different colors. You're going to need two sheets of paper for each bird. You're also going to need glue. It can be hot glue, regular glue, and you can also use tape. You're going to need a white sheet of paper. It can be small. You're also going to need a pair of scissors that you will use with a parent. You can also have color pencils and crayons on the side in case you want to decorate your birds. Let's start with our blue sheet of paper and we're going to draw a ribbon like shape. It's going to start with a triangle at the top, you're going to bring lines down and then you're going to do another triangle at the bottom in this form. When you're complete with that you're going to draw a circle. Take your other color paper and draw a larger circle. When you complete these two drawings, you're going to take your scissors with the pen and begin cutting them out. And there you should have it. going to put the smaller circle on top of the bigger one and fold them both in half to get this. Go ahead and glue the blue on top of the blue. When you're done with those, you're going to do the other side. ahead and take two sheets of paper that you have chosen. This bird is going to be a bit more complicated so you can always pace yourself and take your time throughout this video. Go ahead and start with two of the papers that you've chosen. Take one color paper and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to draw this shape on the folded side. sides together. You're doing this to create a more sturdy look and feel to the body of the bird. Next you're going to take the next sheet of paper that you've chosen and make a fan out of it. You're going to fold small pieces at a time and turn the paper the other way and fold it in. Next after this you're going to take about a third or about a fourth off of your fan. 
We're going to use this later. You're going to fold your bird where you want the wings to be, and then you're going to make a small incision or cut in that area, just like you see me doing here. You can use tape, hot glue, or regular glue for this part. Next we're going to work on the eyes. So take a small white sheet of paper and you're going to draw two ovals like we did for our previous bird. Once you cut it out, you can go ahead and glue them onto the face of your bird. Great job today, guys. I hope you enjoyed making your birds. I will see you tomorrow.